what was uh, COVID like for you? Uh, you know, uh, we talked about COVID a little earlier. Uh, you know, it's it's so fascinating to hear the stories about the food establishments like yours that were around before COVID uh, and alhamdulillah sort of got through it, right? Whereas a lot didn't. So what was COVID like? How did you, how did you get through it? Um, you know, how did you emerge stronger? Um, do you wanna... Yeah, I mean, COVID was, uh, it was definitely March 2020 was, was a lot of unknowns, I think, for, for us and for everybody, really. Uh, we all kind of went through that process of having to, you know, just figure out and survive. Uh, we are in a primarily business area uh here in san diego and so our neighborhood is one of the most densely populated business districts of san diego and so almost overnight uh when lockdowns first went into place uh, this neighborhood became a ghost town uh there was nobody here so there was a lot of questions at that point in time as to how to navigate uh what to do uh luckily having been open for a few years before that having been able to develop a, a strong clientele base uh, as people, I think, got more comfortable navigating a COVID world, uh, we started getting a lot of our, our regulars that, were, that still have to come into work because there are a lot of essential workers that work in our neighborhood as well. Uh, we started seeing those folks. Uh, and one of, the, one of the things we've been blessed with is, is sometimes people eat here. They eat here like three, four times a week, uh, if not more oh, nice. for lunch. Nice. Yeah. So we'd, we'd see the same people almost every day uh, coming through and eat uh, during COVID, uh, like the beginning part of COVID. Uh, and I mean, we just try to navigate that as much as possible. We actually were never on any delivery services before COVID. Uh, but right as the news of, of COVID spread was happening, we actually ended up signing up for, uh, for all the delivery services and, and we've been on them ever since. Uh, it's been a love hate relationship, uh, with delivery services, it, it, but it always know. is right for the rest. <laughs> yeah, <industry. It's> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and I mean, it, it, it's been a challenge for sure. Um, uh, you know, the, everything that you hear in the news has has definitely been real for us uh, from dealing with COVID to labor shortages uh, to inflation. Uh, what we used to pay for chicken, uh, you know, a year and a half ago, we're, we're, we're paying two to three times as much now. Uh, and it's, it's been like that for over uh, over a year. Uh, and so those those uh, those changes that everyone's seeing at the grocery store, we, we see it just as much. Uh, in terms of the cost of product that we're uh, we're, we're using, uh, even coming down to like paper products that we use uh, or disposable products that we use, uh, the prices on those have have skyrocketed too over the last year. So we're we see it across the board, uh, uh, and so now it's been really just a challenge of navigating that environment uh, with just the cost of goods and how much everything costs, along with employment issues. Um, and and I mean we've we've actually been blessed that so much of our staff has been here for three, four, five years uh, working with us. And a lot of our our new hires are, are referrals from our current staff, uh, and and yeah, and then the new hires end up staying here for for, for a while, and they end up referring additional people. Uh, so that, that that's been our solution to uh, to navigating the uh, <laughs> the economy and, and 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 labor in America. 